I am Catwoman. Hear me roar. Michelle Pfeiffer is an actor with an eclectic career. I wouldn't be scared if I um, did the same thing over and over again. Yeah. But I don't like to do that, so I think that occasionally I might rest on my laurels a bit. But <laughs> you know, I like I like a new challenge. Her first major film was Grease 2, and because of this, Brian De Palma refused to let her audition for Scarface. But the producer, Martin Bregman, insisted. She eventually got what many would consider the part that made her famous. Don't call me baby. I'm not your baby. And fame is a hard thing to pin down. Michelle Pfeiffer strikes me as someone who never really grew into the idea of being famous. She always had a grasp on who she was and what she was doing. Characters like her Catwoman, Susie Diamond in The Fabulous Baker Boys. You're an hour and a half late. Yeah, well, I had a little trouble catching a cab. Punctuality. First rule of show business. This is show business. And Angela DeMarco in Married to the Mob. I ran into her at Food Town. I invited her over for dinner. But Angela says they're busy. Angela! Reflect a confident yet playful human being who's comfortable creating characters that others in her position may not be able to pull off. I don't know why you don't just go back to Europe. I believe that's because of you. Me? I'm the man who married one woman because another one told him to. You promise not to say such things today. She started up her own production company, Via Rose Productions, in order to help produce more films with strong female characters. She also took a hiatus to spend time with her family, her children, and her husband, the writer-producer David E. Kelly. And now she is back, and as she says, has too much to do to stop. And we welcome that.